Mayday! I'm your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man! <laughs> you serious? So let's get things started and head over to D&D Beyond before I reveal the character art that I had commissioned for this build. Yep, <laughs> you're gonna have to wait to the end of the video for that one. For now, we'll start with a human with the folk hero background and roll some dice. Here's where everything fell for the base stats. I figured Spider-Man isn't all that wise, but he's pretty intelligent and a bit charismatic. He's also got better than average strength, and I'd guess dexterity is his highest stat. We'll leave his constitution neutral for now though. Following the traditionally nerdy nature of Spidey, I decided to pick up six levels in Artificer in order to gain access to spells like Web, Spider Climb, Jump, Feather Fall, Catapult, Thorn Whip, and Guidance. With Guidance being reflavored a bit as the patented Spidey senses we all know and love, and Thorn Whip becoming something like striking an enemy with your webs, and then subsequently pulling them inwards. Don't get me wrong, there are a bunch of ways to get these spells that doesn't require a six level commitment, but I like the flavor of our D&D Spider-Man having mechanical web shooters instead of some physical mutation or magical abilities. Along the way, we'll specifically pick up proficiency and perception and some artificer infusions like Boots of the Winding Path, Spell Refueling Ring, Enchanted Arcane Focus, and Mind Sharpener. I also picked up two instances of Replicate Magic Item for Goggles of Night and Rope of Climbing. You could give those infusions to your allies, but we'll just use them on ourselves to imitate aspects of Spider-Man's suit and abilities from various cinematic appearances. In particular, I really enjoyed that the rope of climbing could be used in place of webs for restraining bad guys and swinging from the rooftops. From there, I chose Artillerist as our artificer specialty, intending for our Eldritch Cannon to actually be mounted to our wrist and allowing us to shoot out ranged spell attacks from 120 feet away dealing 2d8 force damage and pushing our target 5 feet back from us. Just like Spidey's web shooter. Sort of. <laughs> we'll take the observant feat at 4th level to increase our ever potent senses while also increasing our intelligence score a bit, and we'll get access to an arcane firearm at 5th level for our spells, adding a d8 to the damage. We'll get tool expertise at 6th level, but honestly, we're mostly taking this for the extra infusions from earlier. Trust me, you'll want those as we move on to our second class, the Monk. I think some argument could be made for Spider-Man as a fighter as well, but I chose the Monk class purely based on his acrobatic nature and the fact that he's often found swinging through the skies and pummeling enemies with his fists, not a bladed or blunt melee weapon. We'll start off by gaining unarmored defense and some other Monk goodies, but surprisingly, even after an ability score improvement to our dexterity later on, will only end up with an AC of 14. If you're thinking that AC is relatively low, even for a monk, you'd be right. Our pal Spider-Man is no stranger to taking hits in combat, and when he is dodging blows, it's not because of his armor, it's because of his evasive nature and reflexes. I wanted to be as true to his nature as possible for this build, so our wisdom score is actually hurting us here. We won't even get to use this unarmored defense ability, but if we play this right, you may not need to. You'll see what I mean in a moment. As it is with many monk builds, we'll be relying heavily on our ability to move in and out of range without being hit, landing stunning strikes, and being generally evasive. So with this build, I decided to choose Way of Shadow as our monastic tradition. From that choice, we'll gain the ability to cast Darkness, Dark Vision, Pass Without a Trace, or Silence for two key points. We'll get the Minor Illusion cantrip as well, but we actually aren't too concerned with that. After all, none of these are really big Spider-Man staples, and the price of two key points is pretty hefty. What we're really after with this is the Shadow Step ability that comes online at 6th level, allowing our medieval Spider-Human to teleport 60 feet as a bonus action in and out of dim or dark areas. Not only does this provide us with a good means of escaping melee range, but it could also be a nifty way to find cover from ranged attacks. Not to mention we'll get advantage on our first melee attack that we make before the end of our turn. We'll also get Cloak of Shadows at 11th level, giving us the ability to become completely invisible in dim light or darkness as an action. With this ability, we remain invisible until we make an attack, cast a spell, or are in an area of bright light. Sort of like Miles Morales' rendition. All that combined with our other 15 foot teleportation from our Boots of the Winding Path and the ability to push creatures back 5 feet with our Eldritch Cannon, we should have no problem playing a skirmisher when necessary. 
running in for a few hits and then swinging back to safety when things go south. I also shouldn't forget to mention that the base monk class gives us deflect missiles at 3rd level so we can defend against ranged weapon attacks, slow fall at 4th level allowing us to reduce any fall damage we might take while swinging from structure to structure, and evasion at 7th level which allows us to take no damage when succeeding a deck save against an attack that would have dealt us half damage instead. If nothing else, Spider-Man tends to be slippery and hard to get a hold of, which is why I also opt for the lucky feat later on. After all, I think a great deal of luck plays into his fighting style between sarcastic one-liners and web-slinging antics. We got some other stuff as a monk here too, but I'd say that we might do well to leave that for another video like this one. So now we have a character with 55 feet of base movement speed before any teleportation, all of those typical Spidey abilities, and a passive perception score of 20. This build, like many of my favorites, is certainly not a min-maxer's dream, but it is extremely fun to play, and I'd imagine it would look something like this. If you're a fan of how all this came together, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell so that you can check out all the other wacky builds that I like to put together. And as always, go out there and make some chaos.